Brandon and I've gone off trail in a place we've never been before. This was an interesting structure I thought I'd point out. Winter came early up here this year. It's only September 30th, and it's almost like it was last year around Thanksgiving. Those are brakes and they're leaned in there. Stack side by side. We found a badly injured deer, probably about 50 yards behind me. I wanted to show you this area. And there's a few odds and ends down this way. The deer I was talking about was badly injured, still alive, laying there, panting. It was bleeding out its rectum. And there was some blood off to the side of it, and we wanted to, wish we could have seen what the other side looked like. But it doesn't seem like it's a bad trail. And we've seen deer dead up here that have slipped on really treacherous stuff. It was treacherous for us. And uh, it's not that treacherous in here. I mean, there's a lot of down. But uh, it's not terribly steep. And for it to be as badly injured as it was, I might be wondering if it was a. an attack and we come up into it and scared off somebody it's all speculation but I've never in my whole life come across a deer that was still alive and was badly injured like that and there was no sign of broken legs or anything he just had a lot of severe internal injuries to be bleeding out his rectum like that The reason I make mention of severe injuries like that, internal injuries that is, because we've been working on hunting theory 
we have a pretty good idea that they're ambush hunters and they work in teams and you know, a big animal like a deer the best thing to do would be to grab it and surprise it and grab it and sling it into a tree and that would kill it shortly but um, still leave it all intact be easier to carry if it was still in one piece It's been about an hour since we found him. We hiked up. We thought we'd come back down and see if he was still alive. Doesn't look like it. Not a lot it can do for him. Kind of makes you sad. Look at the way this tree formed. This is what reminds me of bonsai. The tree came out of the ground. It must have got bent over due to snow load of some kind. But the branches that were forming on it turned into trunks. And it continued to grow upward. I can't be absolutely certain. I'll have to go back and review footage. But this might be the area where that deer was killed last year. And if that's the case, then we did find the carcass. Come through over here. Rain seems a little different, but that could be just bad memory. See, there's a hair pile here. And it's just been all that there. That's all hair. <clears throat> and then there, even though it's been completely dismembered, there's a head, lower jaw. Elvis, that there in the center of the screen is one of the legs. There's another leg there. There's a leg right there. And then the fourth leg is up here, a little higher up. Counts pretty much for the animal, the torso, though. There's no spine, there's no, there's no body. It's weird that the head has been taken right off. And then right here, I just noticed coming up a little higher. This little anomalous. Yeah, see this right here? That's been put there. This looks like a nice little blind. I don't know why we didn't notice this before. You could sit in there. Hunker down. Nobody would see you. There's a tree lean right there. Center screen. Both the 
those logs right there are transplants leaning up against this pine. And this is a really good spot. It's pretty steep. The uh, camera doesn't do it justice. But this ground is 45 degrees. And you get an animal running down here, he's not going to have any control. And I think if they were to team ambush, that's what I'd do. Have somebody at the bottom waiting. Get somebody up top and scare the herd down and wait for them to trip up or snag them yourself. I think it's interesting that the marrow has been removed and the bones look broken rather than gnawed on. See how they're shattered? Yeah, I think uh, we solved the mystery of the deer from last year. Where's his ribs? There's no ribs. That might be a rib. <laughs> that doesn't count. That's one rib. Where's the rest of it? Anyhow, any of that being said, the carcass, if, if this is that deer, didn't get taken off other than the bulk area. Which would make sense if it's to make it easier to haul yeah. through the sticks. You don't want legs and rigor mortis legs and, and skull to be snagging. I agree. So, antlers. Snagging the trees, help holding you up. But see now, don't you find it odd that there isn't even leather? There's no skin? If this was last year's deer, where's the rest of it? Mm. If it's exposed, I could see... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could see maggots and insects, birds, picking it clean. I mean, it's been 10 months. Yeah, well, I don't think quite that long, but Nine months. irregardless, there's, where's the ribs? Where's the rib cage? Yeah, that's one, isn't it? I was going to say the same thing, but... This is it maybe one rib. Looks like a rib. And assuming that there was maybe a flood of water or snow drift, avalanche, that would put it down in here somewhere. In fact, it probably wouldn't have gone much further than this.